Hey guys, it's Sophie and welcome back to my channel. So today I want to talk about animal enrichment. What is it? Why is it important? And how we can provide it for animals in zoos. Environmental enrichment is the process of providing animals with a stimulating environment in order for them to live the most natural and fulfilling lives possible in a captive setting. Enrichment is designed to stimulate animals both mentally and physically by encouraging them to exhibit natural behaviours. By providing enrichment, keepers can enhance the quality of life for many captive animals. They do this by providing the environmental stimuli necessary for optimal physiological and psychological well-being. In a captive environment, most animals don't have to worry about too much because their requirements are already being met by the zookeepers. They don't have to worry about food or water, territory or even mates because zoos already provide them with all of this. So it's critically important that keepers find new ways to keep an animal's environment as complex and stimulating as possible. The five main types of enrichment are social, physical, nutritional, sensory and cognitive. So let's start off with nutritional enrichment. This includes food and is one of the most easiest types of enrichment to provide animals of all species. All animals require food to survive and it seems that most species are more inclined to interact with it, especially when changes are made. Scatter feeding is one of my favourite types of nutritional enrichment because it's just so easy to do for an animal and really stimulates them both mentally and physically. For example, in species like meerkats, instead of placing all of their mealworms inside a bowl, you'd scatter them among the enclosure so they have to forage for them instead. When we're talking about food and nutritional enrichment, it's also important to look at the preparation of the food that we're giving to our animals. Scatter feeding is just one type of preparation for food enrichment, but we can also provide animals with food that hasn't been prepped at all. Animals don't come across prepped food in the wild, so this is a brilliant way to encourage natural behaviours. The next type of enrichment we'll look at is sensory enrichment. This type of enrichment encourages all of the animal's senses, their sight, smell, sounds, touch and taste. The most common form of sensory enrichment has got to be olfactory enrichment, which encourages an animal to use its sense of smell. In order to stimulate an animal's sense of smell and taste, a keeper can go within an exhibit and add different herbs and spices and even foods such as honey. Some keepers will fill bags full of animal poo and add them to different enclosures for the animals to interact with. It appears to stimulate animals in many, many ways, so if it works, keepers will use it. Another form of sensory enrichment that seems to be really effective with species such as dolphins are bubbles. This really simple thing is brilliant because it acts as both a visual and tactile form of enrichment. So the next type of enrichment we're going to look at is the physical habitat that an animal lives in. The actual physical habitat that an animal lives in plays an incredibly important role within its welfare. There are a number of ways that you can adapt and utilise the space within an animal's environment. This is different for each species but encourages them to exhibit natural behaviours that they would demonstrate in the wild. For a bear, adding tree stumps and logs is a brilliant way for them to learn climbing behaviours. With wild hunting dogs you can add dens. A variety of perches in a bird aviary is ideal. There are endless possibilities when it comes to physical enrichment device ideas. It's also important to note that trainers and keepers interacting with their animals in different ways in sessions is also a form of enrichment. Training sessions are a brilliant way for animals to learn new behaviours that they would most likely exhibit in the wild. It also strengthens the bond between trainer and animal, which is incredibly important in itself because it means animals can learn to take part in their own husbandry behaviours in a voluntary and stress-free manner. So the last type, and possibly my favourite type of enrichment, is cognitive. Cognitive enrichment stimulates animals mentally through using novel items and puzzles to get the animal thinking. This is incredibly important for captive animals because it teaches them how to manipulate objects within their environment. Many behaviours that animals can learn through cognitive enrichment are things that they naturally learn within the wild in order to help them survive. But the reason that this form of enrichment is my favourite is because there's such a variety of things that you can do with it for each species. Keepers can hide food inside puzzles and different objects in order for the animal to have to actually think about it before they can get to the food. This not only stimulates the animal mentally but also physically as they have to work for their food. Keepers can hide food and treats in a number of ways. They can hide it in cardboard tubing, boxes, uh, Kong toys and even inside puzzle balls as well. So as you can see there are so many different types of enrichment for animals living in a captive setting. I hope this video has taught you a lot about animals and why we provide enrichment for them in zoos. So I hope you guys enjoyed that video. If you haven't done so already don't forget to hit that subscribe button for more videos like this. Also make sure you follow me on my Instagram which is this for more content on animals and traveling as well. I've been posting lots of educational content on my Instagram at the moment about animals and how we can conserve them in the wild. I've also been going live often with my zookeeper friends on Instagram, so if you're interested or have any ideas of what other content we could create, let me know in the comments below. So for now guys, stay safe, take care, and I'll see you all soon.